TU, though, nothing easy for them. Looking for win number one against Arkansas State at home. They're just a stone's throw away over at Chapman Stadium. And the team that put a scare into Ohio State is back home looking to get into the win column. Here they come. Now after facing both of the OSUs on the road, these guys are back, but it didn't start ideally for them. TU minus two yards in their first two drives. The Red Wolves take advantage. They strike first. The punt out kicks the coverage. 63 yards to the house. TU on the wrong side of a 7 nothing game, but not for long. These guys needed a big play. They got it right away. Sam Crawford over the middle in between the coverage. Goes behind the coverage. 88 yards. TU drawing even. And the big plays were not done. Shamari Brooks just keeps looking better every single week. Beautiful cut. 25 yards. House call. We're tied at 14. TU should have taken off from there. Davis Brin throws for over 350 for the second game in a row. He's the first TU quarterback to do that since Dane Evans. 663 total yards for the offense. 28 first half points. That's the most since 2018. They turned in three one play touchdown drives. Three receivers went for 99 yards or more. You would not expect the final score after all of that. Two Arkansas State kick returns. That kept this thing way too close. Tulsa also escapes with a one score win. 41-34 the final. Just seeing the guys after the game, seeing them in the locker room, just understanding that, you know, we put in a lot of work. And, and I think we're a good football team. Now we still got a lot of improving to do. We got to correct some things. We got to do all of that. But you got to go out and you got to go make it happen. Right, and, and it was good to see our guys step up and make that happen tonight. Right, well, I think you saw, I think, uh, was it two or three, I think, uh, one one play drives that we had. <clears throat> so, I mean, those guys did, did their job, all of 11 of us, and uh, that was the result, and uh, we're going to keep being explosive. Well, let's, let's be honest. If you give up two returns in, in, in special teams, I would say 99% of the time, you don't win the game. So I give credit to our guys for staying locked in, staying focused, and, and being mature enough and strong enough to overcome that. Now, that being said, that crap can't happen.